Hello and welcome to my room tour. So basically, my room has suddenly changed like literally yesterday um, from how it was before. So basically, I had my bed and then I had a sofa bed that my mum would sometimes sleep on because of stuff. Um, but then I realised that the sofa bed is more comfortable than my actual bed. So then I was sleeping on the sofa bed when my, when my mum was not coming in. Um, and so I was like, Dad, can we get rid of the um, old bed? And he was really not happy with it for a while. But then suddenly he was like, you know what? Let's just do it. And so we got rid of it. So it's gone. Capiche. Not there. Um, and so I have rearranged my bedroom around that. And so I thought today would be a good day to do the room tour. The room tour. So let's go and begin. So we begin at the door, which seems the logical place to start. A onesie on the door. Here is some baby kind of photo books, some memory boxes, and then just like some art supplies down there. It's not very organised, you'll see that a lot in this video. Now here are the wardrobes. Now not all of these have like my clothes in because that will be a lot of clothes. Um, this one has like bedding for the entire family. This one is like storage for the entire family. This one has my mum's wedding dress in it. This is where my clothes are in this one. And then that is more storage. My curtains are falling out, my old curtains because I put these curtains up myself all by myself. It was quite easy to be honest. So then we come over here to the windowsill. We have some spell jars and bags and that mug that I used to water my plants and a glitter jar and some nice starlight. And here we have like some just games and my old school books since my teachers were always like, oh my God, you should keep them because you might use them. And I probably never will, but I keep them because I'm too scared to get rid of them. Here we have kind of like my bedside table, I guess. Um, we have my incense burner, which is currently actually burning incense. Some candle holders, which only three of them are burning because the one on the end has run out and I currently do not have any candles left to put in it. Um, so that's sad. There's a fake elephant plant that's super pretty and I really like it. This bag just has like random stuff in it. The green thing on top is a back massager, an oil burner, a mushroom painting that I did. I want to put that up somewhere, but I'm not really sure where, so I just left it there. Um, a notebook of stuff, the book that I'm reading, and then this book, which I'm also trying to read, which I don't know if it's easy to come by this book, but if it is, I would definitely recommend reading it. Um, Especially around this time since it's Yom HaShoah, which is the um, like Jewish memorial day of the Holocaust. I probably pronounced that wrong because I'm not very good at speaking Hebrew. But So there's this woman in this specific camp that used to teach the children um, like drawing. It, she basically did art therapy with them to like cope with the like unbelievably difficult situation they were going through um so yeah she did that with them and this is some of the drawings and i think it kind of like really reflects these children's mental state and the thing that they were going through it's quite interesting and quite difficult to read as well um my fire lighter my planties this, I have no idea what they're called. Everyone always knows what their plant's called. I do not. This one is got like this thing that doesn't stand up, which makes me really annoyed. Um, like this yellowy ready thing. It's really pretty though. And then a succulent. This is me. <laughs> Let's move back. This is me. Hello. Oh, leg. So yeah, this is me. This is my phone case that moves, um, there's like sand in it that moves. And now we're going to move on to my bed. This is where I sleep. I have this really pretty thing and there's lights in the top there and I don't usually actually put them on because these curtains 
aren't the best at blocking out light so just having more lights on doesn't really help you to see here is my bed it's not very neatly put together my the gray one is a weighted blanket if you have anxiety or autism i would seriously recommend getting a weighted blanket or if you have like insomnia or something i definitely recommend getting a weighted blanket they're amazing um this is my jelly cat octopus that helps me sleep we love to see it and my ipad wow amazing i actually like sleep on a duvet because it hasn't exactly got a mattress and i really like sleeping on duvets because they're really like soft and i find like the duvet cover is a lot um softer than a sheet so i like to sleep on it there we go and now we're going to get up and move on to the next part here we have a ton like a wall that literally just has a ton of pictures on um it's intense um and i'm planning on filling all of the empty spaces that are currently here which is a lot with these origami butterflies they're so pretty and they're so easy to make as well i'm going to include a little short tutorial at the end of this video because i'm nice like that um here's my music area i guess um with like my music stand that just has like a ton of sheets of paper on it um my guitar and my ukulele here is this light i love this light so much here is my recycling and my general waste because you have to separate your rubbish loves gay pride woohoo and a stick <laughs> um a feathery thing i fished these swan feathers out of the canal i did not kill a swan i fished them out um moon sticker that's so beautiful i love it so much um some more things on the wall this one is from when i went to a bts concert wow amazing this is my kind of like i guess my altar um i painted these two records um because they were ones that i got like a second hand record player and they just came free with my record player um but i didn't really like the music that was on them so i just painted them to make something pretty this is a cross stitch that i did um something from a adoption of a polar bear pretty pretty polar bears um so yeah let's do a quick little altar tour on the top here we have mostly it's crystals but there's also some bones and just like random rocks and also this mushroom thing that i made out of clay and of course candles um down here is like where i have all my herbs and spices and stuff what's in this jar looks like piss but it's actually um I believe it was from lilies that I had. I had a lily in my room and it kind of died. So I boiled it up um, and turned it into that, which looks like pee. Oils, most of them are actually empty. Um, I use this to store the ashes from my incense just to keep it like um, for making like back salt and stuff. There's my salts, white salt black salt and pink salt um honey that is all crystallized a little bowl from greece that my friend got for me when he went to greece like so many years ago um my pendulum board i made this myself wow so pretty um and my pendulum that i did not make myself um a little bag of whoa pink salt um that I got from Tiger because you can't buy pink salt in many places um, and I just found that we saw some in Tiger so I got it this is my runes that I made myself from salt though and this bag is also made myself um, some empty containers a tea light candles these ones I'm kind of not really sure what to do with them because they're really thin I just use this one to light all of my candles when I'm like going around my room so I just like light one of them 
and then carry it around on this when I'm using matches because obviously you can't hold a match for that long one. Here are my decks. So this is my first deck. Um, and this is not actually the first one I bought. My first one that I bought is this one, the red, the one in the red bag. But this is definitely my favorite one. This is the Tarot of Many Doors. Um, and it's just like a more inclusive tarot deck. They've changed some of the kind of like the gender terms. Someone's oh, poor him. Um, it's like removed the more gender terms in it, and also kind of like the classist terms and the more problematic things in there, especially the problematic imagery, because in the Brideway Tarot there is some problematic imagery. And um, most of it is anti-Semitic, um, and we don't, we don't like that in this house, um, and I bought it before I knew that, and also just the Rider Waite Tower is pretty cheap, um, and I was poor, well, I wasn't poor, I just didn't have any money, because I'm a child, um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this tarot, it is quite expensive, um, I had to save up for quite a long time to get it, but it's from this shop called Little Red Tarot, which is, um, a tarot shop that is, like, made by artists, so I would recommend buying from that, and in here is just some, like, little moon cards, um, deck, like, moon oracle deck, it's from a collection of just, like, things that I, my mum actually got from the works, um, but I like these cards, they're pretty, 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 um, so there's that, my Ride Awake Tarot, you probably already know what that looks like, this one is, like, a create your own tarot, but I literally just couldn't be bothered to colour it all in, so I just used this book, for like help learning with the readings because it also has interpretations and this is like kind of like a witch's diary i guess it has lots of dates in it but i don't really follow the wheel of the year um because i have like a different religion so yeah this is the spells bible that has a ton of spells in it that's pretty helpful except they're quite intense um you need a lot of things for uh, uh, some of these spells, so yeah, it's quite intense. Um, a book called Lunar Living, which is, it was kind of cringy. I was trying to read it, but it was too cringy for me. A book on Wicca. I don't actually practice Wicca, but I just wanted to read a book on it because, you know what, that, that's good. The Book of Runes, you can't really read that because it's quite dark. Um, a book on green witchcraft. It was this one is a little journal um it's a personalized journal from papier um i haven't done french for like a year so yeah um and you can like choose what's on there and you pick the design and also the paper i'm not going to show you the bits that i've written i know but it's plain paper i like either dotted no, I like squared. I like squared paper or plain paper. I don't really like lines. Well, I'll write lines, but I don't really like them. Um, so that's that book. Um, it was pretty pricey for a book. Um, but when it's customized, I guess it's more expensive. That is like another kind of witchy book, I guess. I kind of just put information in there more than kind of like personal stuff and then here we have this little place because I don't know what to put here so I just put a ton of plushies I'm gonna pick Pikachu up again put him back there we go um we have Tata um Snorlax Pikachu this is from Chessington World of Adventures if anyone knows what that is Penguin Penguin a lava lamp that doesn't work, surprisingly. Another Tata. Guess which B221 character is my favourite. I will wait. A sloth that is in a cardigan that I wore when I was a baby. Crochet B. Um, ducky guy and an owl. And then here we have my bookshelf, which is also not just reserved for books. That's my school section with all my school books. Um... 
and more books that I organized by color. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> it makes me very happy. This is my music section with my vinyls and my everything, um, and CDs and stuff. Um, that is just got like random stuff. Uh, this is the little teddy polar bear I got with my adoption thingy. Um, gay Christmas tree that is up all year round because the gay never goes away. Um, pride flag. Oh, up here is this um tapestry um a painting i did of halsey that is not that good i'm not very good at painting taeyang the mattel doll of taeyang that me and my friends we went to town and we saw it in the toy shop and it was like seven pounds um and they're like they were like 20 pounds when they were first sold um so we had to buy them of course um my own version of a Hokusai painting of Hokusai the Great Wave and I think it was really pretty honestly I'm really proud of that I think that's my favourite art that I've done um this whale that I made I call him my watermelon whale I didn't even mean to make him look like a watermelon but he does look like a watermelon another candle fake plants a ton of real plants that one is missing because I decided to dissect it um because that's the impulsive kind of person I am. And here's my desk. I'm currently in the middle of origami, as you can see. I will come back and actually show you how I'm doing that. My stationery, another candle. That's just part of stuff I use at my desk. And my cross stitch that I'm doing currently. Look how well it's going. Oh my gosh. My uh, calculator. This poster for um, conjugating verbs in... Spanish because it's hard to remember when you're trying to do your homework, so I just put it up there. Candle, speaker, soft toys, some little Japanese dolls, this painting that I did is pretty cool. Um, a Halloween light that I just keep there because I think it looks good. The white box at the back has a ton of stationery stuff in it, another candle. This has dead name on it, don't look at that. Um, piano chords up there box of random stuff this little boat thing that i just decided one day i was gonna buy because i was like oh my god croaky um that one is me the one that's really blonde that was me that is scary um that looks really scary from up there okay well we'll leave this cardigan that i made myself and it makes my boobs look big so i don't really like it um but if I was like a skinny white girl model or if I was Harry Styles, I would be able to sell this for like fifty thousand pounds. Um it's like hashtag fashion. Under here I have some pillows because I had a like on the sofa a bed I put them. And I bought way too many pillows from IKEA so I don't really know where to put them, so I just use them as a footstool. <laughs> That's really bad. Um record player and just storage of random stuff and that's literally about it so yeah so yeah that was my room tour but i just want to like give a quick like disclaimer i guess um like i'm very lucky to have such a big room and uh, i know i'm very lucky to have such a big room um and so yeah i'm very grateful that i have such a big room and also like um have the money to decorate it with nice things and put nice things in it so i am very lucky for that and i'm not like trying to show off that i have a nice room i just really like decorating things and i really like watching other people's room tours so i was just like oh i'll make my own room tour so yeah thank you for watching and i don't know maybe i'll see you again i don't really know bye bye